Right, so I'm gonna go back into the eye area. Am I? Do you, I think the eye is all right. I think I'm gonna just leave it alone. Sometimes I say that it's helpful, it's a good idea to put something in the white of the eye that's got a value to it, like cerulean blue or something, to allow the rest of the face to read as being lighter. But the rest of the face is already reading as lighter than the white of the eye. So I think it's fine. We sometimes imagine that the white of the eye is the brightest part of the eye area, and very often it's not. It's more the uh, upper surface of the lower lid that catches the light. Or, um, yeah, just the, the skin on the eyelid maybe you might read as being lighter than the actual white of the eye. Just because it's white, uh, it doesn't mean that it'll be the brightest bit. It'll often be in shadow. Talking about shadow, I'm just going to bring over some more of those shadows on the face. As the as the colours on the face dry, you can get this nice kind of patchwork layered effect um, by painting fluid, fluidish colour, you know, so the consistency of the paint is like that. And when I lay it down over the colours underneath, it allows those colours that are underneath to remain where they are. Especially when again you hold the brush parallel to the paper almost. It allows the colours underneath to stay where they are, but you still make quite an impact with the new colour too. And I think it's uh, interesting to just see what the paint does when you let it alone. The water transports the pigment around the place for you. And so your job is really to place to place the uh, water onto the paper. And you don't you don't direct it always really. So often the water can create you create a bit of a channel, but the water will um carve its way through that channel and maybe do something interesting on its route. Okay, the ear is significantly um, blank, so I'll just do a tiny bit to the ear and I'd say that might be me finished then. Okay, so I'm going to make the ear with the Viridian Green mixed with the Burnt Sienna. That gives me that kind of a colour. And uh, the ear is a little bit lower than the nose, which means I've kind of got it in the wrong place. Let's see. Yeah, so the shadow, the dark inner part of the ear is about here, I think. And it runs uh, almost level with the nose. Yeah, it probably does look a bit odd, right? The nose needs, or the ears need to. The ear needs to move down a little bit, I think. Okay. So I lifted off some of the paint there to encourage the edge of the ear lower. And I'm going to make the dark go down a little bit lower there as well. So wherever you lift, the brush is often where it stays darkest. And then um, get me two orange colours again. This is actually the lighter of the two oranges, the cadmium orange. I'm just gonna fill that colour there. Really I just want to find some tones in that area and do as much as, uh, only as, uh, do as little as possible to explain the ear. It's a bit like a nose, once you know it's between, once you know the nose is between the eyes and the mouth, you can explain it with just a few moves. But of course it's very important to be fully attentive to the shape so that you really get the shape that'll explain the nose so the shadow that's underneath the nose um is the thing that'll explain that most easily do you know i think there's almost enough in the in the ear now isn't there let it alone and i'm going to put a bit of ultramarine blue in the scarf behind the ear and the ultramarine blue is mixed with the oranges that are in the palette at the moment so that it's not going to be quite that dark or quite that clear a colour you know. I do want it to be a bit darker than that though so I'm getting picking up more blue with the two inch brush scoop scooping it up onto the brush and then placing it down pull, pulling and lifting where I want the shot the wrinkle to be and uh, back of the head needs to come down more there. I'm seeing it in, in relation to the arc of the chin, the um, the headdress comes down lower 
Ben I have it? I'm feeling like I'm just starting to enjoy myself now and uh, maybe that the video is a bit long and drawn out. I need to get a good editor. Cut some of this out and splice it together. You see that the darks are like the bass and music, that they hang it all together. And so what I'm doing here is re-establishing the darks. Jesus, be nice back there, be so blue there. When you're working from life, you'd be half closing your eyes so that you see the general areas of dark and light and you don't get stuck in the detail too much. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Thank you if you watched this far. Well done. Uh, and see you next time. Bye.